CJ Stroud is the first player in NFL history to have at least 900 passing yards, four passing touchdowns, and zero interceptions in his first three starts. How do you explain how good CJ Stroud has been for the Texans so far for a team that we did not think was going to be good? I can't explain it. I don't know. Let's stop pretending like we know, uh, like we know what quarterback is going to be good. I have lots of beliefs that this seems to shake my beliefs. So, like, I don't know. CJ Stroud was not like uh, when we were having conversations about who should be the top pick. Like, it didn't seem like anyone gave CJ Stroud uh, a reasonable look. And now he seems clearly to be the best person or the best player uh, or the best quarterback in last year's draft. And normally, the way that I explain that away is by pointing to what they are surrounded by i can't really do that this time so maybe we have to, he's we have just to take this off the board yeah. this is on the board as a dominique foxworth Truism. football maxim that it's about the situation more than the quarterback maybe the it's situation gone, is better than i thought it's not though what are you talking about <laughs> they're down uh, maybe they're down four three four starters on their offensive line maybe right now, Larry Tunsil, maybe the backups not- are better Maybe. Maybe, maybe the backups are better. Maybe uh, they got a good coaching stuff there. Not out of the question. To be fair, he's the only one of those three rookie quarterbacks who played this week because the other two guys are hurt. Yeah. So maybe that's why he was able to show off because he was the only one actually playing. But what what I've noticed in watching him play, especially this week when I watched a little bit of the, what I saw, was just the ball is coming out on time. Like he looks confident in the pocket. The ball is coming out at the back of his drop. He knows where he's going with the football. Like, especially preseason week one, he really was slow. It felt like he was really struggling with the speed of the game. Felt like he was, you know, just he's playing the Patriots. He came through a really bad pick six. with He wasn't really sure what he was seeing. He looked so much more confident now five weeks later. And that's without four-fifths of his offensive line. So I think you have to give him a ton of credit, that coaching staff a ton of credit. It feels like he at least knows where he's going with the football. And that, for a young quarterback, is maybe half the battle. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to see him playing well. And I think I I change my opinion every time or every couple of years when we're looking at quarterback draft prospects about what I think is the most important thing. And maybe it's because the game changes and the things that are more important matters. Or maybe it's because none of us know what the hell we're talking about. But I always assume the most important thing for a quarterback is accuracy. Because I I feel like you can – have a poor read on coverage. As long as you can put the ball where you want to put it, then you're fine or you'll be okay. You'll be better off and you can learn these other things, but it's starting to feel like with the like modern game, it seems like that decisiveness, Mm -hmm. whether it's uh, being coached well to get a good pre-snap read or also just being able to process really quickly. It feels like that's the most important thing right now that I will be looking for is a quarterback that I know is going to hit that last step in their drop and be decisive with the throw that they made or a coach that I know can simplify the offense to the point that I don't have a quarterback out there processing because it seems like the real killer is guys who hold on to the ball too long. Yeah. What? Dominique wants guys to get the ball out, and that is it. They don't think about it. There's no brain power committed to. Uh, I, can't, I can't deal with you guys and your uh, What's the point of progression? There's no, I'm not saying there's no point of progressions. I'm not saying it's the only thing. I'm saying that when I'm looking at quarterbacks, we got all excited, sure. and then we got we caught the Josh Allen disease, and everyone was looking for guys with tools, and now I'm moving in a different direction. Give Whoa. me Trump Purdy. Bryce Young just went first over C.J. Stroud and Anthony Richardson. We do not have Josh Allen's disease in this draft. He is smaller than Justin Tucker. Uh, Trey Lance, uh, Justin Fields, uh, who else? Richardson. Um, Yeah, Richardson Richardson, is the toolsiest guy around anyway. He looked pretty nice for a a game and a quarter before he got hurt. All right, I started off by saying we don't know what we're doing. I think that was where we should end it. We don't know. General managers don't know. Coaches don't know. 